Salutations everyone, welcome to my For Glory episode on Jigglypuff, the Jigster. He is back and he is oh so much better than he was in Brawl. He was awesome in Melee and I wouldn't say he's as great as Melee, he's had a couple of changes in his character, but definitely better than the super nerfed version that we got in Brawl. I mean, Jigglypuff is, was probably one of my mains, especially in the uh, latter half of Melee's lifetime before Brawl. Um, he was just a fantastic character, very underrated because he's just a pink puffy balloon Pokemon. And not many people took him seriously until Hungrybox took him to competitive and started raking in, became a freaking melee god. And uh, Jigglypuff is one of my favorite characters in the game, one of the best, better characters that I am. Uh, with Jigglypuff, you have a lot. He's a floaty character, and he is... I mean, you got the rest, obviously. Just the best punish in the game. Um, Jigglypuff is the easiest character to kill in the game. She dies at the lowest percentile. Uh, very, very floaty. Uh, easy to kill. But uh, the Jigster has quite a lot of weapons in her arsenal. Um, you mainly want to space with forward air and neutral air to rack up damage along with, uh, you know, jabs, throws, and pound. The forward B, which in two pounds will destroy anyone's shields. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very handy. Especially if you face another Jigglypuff, because another thing that Jigglypuff has going for her is if her shield gets destroyed, she instantly dies. No other characters like that. I don't know why that this is the case. They think that Jigglypuff was just too tanky, that if his shields were destroyed, he needed to be killed as penance. I'm not too sure. But Pound, uh, you know, as a bit of a lingering hitbox, uh, will help you, uh, mix up your landings, and Jigglypuff is one of the better, uh, mixer-uppers when it comes to aerial, uh, speed, and returning to the stage, as well as, uh, you know, running away from enemies and their attacks, especially their projectiles. Jigglypuff really doesn't have to worry about projectiles. A lot of them will go over her, especially since she has the lowest crouch in the game. Uh, a lot of attacks, a lot of smash attacks, most projectiles will go right over the Jigster. So, you know, she's not going to be getting hit by absolutely everything, which is definitely helpful because she dies so damn easy. You want to make sure that she doesn't get a lot of damage on her uh, very quickly. Her main kill moves, number one, the back air. No longer a carry off stage move. Um, very, very good kill move. One of the best back airs in the game. Kills decently early and is your main option for kills. Uh, forward smash is not fast, but it does get the kills. You won't be getting any kills with up smash and down smash at any reasonable percentages. Although down smash can be useful. Most of them are just, all of them actually, are just very, very laggy. Which is why your uh, back, back air is going to be your main kill move. Forward smash if you can do a hard read and the good old rest. Uh, the rest, not as powerful as it was in Melee, like I said, Jigglybuff isn't as powerful, but it'll still kill around 80% with most characters, and even if it doesn't kill, it'll uh, have the, uh, the the flower ability to which they will continue to leech percentage uh, for like 10 seconds or something like that. So here I am just uh, asserting my dominance over other Pokemon in the game. I think I faced every single Pokemon in my time with Jigglypuff, uh, and I spent a lot of time with Jigglypuff because he's just a super, or she's just a super fun character to be. And the, I know I said that Captain Falcon's Cat Falcon Punch Kill was the most satisfying in the game, but I think Jigglypuff's rest just barely edges it out because of how difficult it is to land and just how easily you can get punished if you miss, or even if you hit, they can respawn and get a good one on you. It's the most punishable uh, attack in the entire game, she's completely vulnerable with bubbles floating around her head, but it's the best punish in the game, oddly enough, as well. So I guess that kind of, you know, balances it, it out. Um, since on For Glory there are only Final Destination variants, um, there's no going to be no battlefields or any... Uh, levels with platform so getting off you know rest setups is not going to be as easy but as you can see it's it's not too difficult at all if you, you can punish someone if they're using a super laggy move you can rest out of shield you could jump crouch to rest a lot of options you can even um rest out of air dodge which i didn't know until i pulled it off a couple of times and 
rest of good old Pikachu using his laggy Pika move and just take him out. A lot of Pikachus are just really reliant on that thunder for some reason. Highly, highly punishable. And that Pikachu got punished for it, as did the Samus before her. And speaking of Samuses, we have one of the toughest matchups, if not the toughest matchup for Jigglypuff in Smash 4. Zero Suit Samus is a Jigglypuff killing machine. Um, Jigglypuff, you know, not one of the high tier uh, characters in the game. Like I said, easiest to kill, and let's face it, not all of us can be Hungry Box. That dude is just a god. And uh, against you know the top tier characters, Jigglypuff is going to have a lot of hard uh, you know troubles ahead of her, and especially against Zero Suit Samus with all that hits done with her Paralyzer. Her her down B is good for you know grounding Jigglypuff, racking up damage. The up B is easy to get off, and since she's so easy to kill, up B will kill very very early. So with any stun gun, dash attack to up B, up air, and since Jigglypuff is mostly an aerial character, uh, Zero Suit Samus is one of the best uh, counter aerial Jigglypuff uh, characters in the game. So you definitely have to be careful with the Zero Suit Samus. Uh, the, the the strategy mostly for Pikachu or for, for Jigglypuff is spacing out with forward air. It has a lot of priority, uh, decent range, lingering hitbox. Uh, neutral air has a bit of priority as well. And um, going in for some pounds to both uh, change up your returning to the stage as it stalls you in the air. Also good at punishing people who just abuse shields. As you can see right there, got up aired to hell and back by that Zero Suit Samus. But I'm going to try to stage a comeback here. Um, her, her dash attack is not very great. She has one of the slower run speeds in the game. So... Uh, you're definitely going to have to, you know, definitely cater to you know, in the opponent's weaknesses. And I don't know what happened there. That dash attack somehow killed. I didn't see the kill thunder. I don't know if that dude DI'd for me or what have you. But I got the kill. I ain't going to complain. So that was pretty much even stock right now. Um, up air is, is, is easy to hit in melee, um, for me at least, um, just because of how jumping works in this game is just so much better and it's a little harder to juggle in most cases as well as you know pretty much impossible to do a lot of combos in smash 4 um, and jigglypuff doesn't really have any go-to combos you can um, pound into uh, pretty much all aerials and then back into a pound back into an aerial um, just based off of your opponent's movement and with Jigglypuff being so floaty and being so easily uh, Controllable in the air. I don't know why that dude didn't punish me. Some people just don't know how to punish uh, The most easily punishable move in the game, but I'll take it once again um, And I think this is where I make my move. I'm gonna throw out a couple of pounds right here uh, Spacing out gotta you know keep my distance if she gets a stun gun on me I am dead so there's a pound to break the shield She's fucking done for. Rest Punish wins the game. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, just annihilating people's shields. It is definitely very, very useful, especially for those players that just rely way too much on their shields. Jigglypuff will annihilate that very, very quickly and uh, has the best punish in the game for them. And uh, Sing also has improved. Um, Sing will actually improve duration as long uh, for the opponent that has higher percentage. So the higher percentage your opponent is, the longer they will be asleep for Sing. So at around 100%, if you can pull off a Sing, um, that'll set them up for just an automatic easy rest, and that'll be the end of it for them. Was not that case in Melee, and I'm not sure in Brawl, I don't remember, I didn't play Jigglypuff that much in Brawl, um, just because of how nerfed she was, but, um, Sing, definitely useful. Um, not, uh, not, not something you want to use too often. If you're having trouble getting off a lot of your rests, you know, use the Sing to set up for it if they're at a decent percentage. Um, and Shulk is also a different cool matchup for Jigglypuff just because those huge sweeping aerials and those Monado arts can kill Jigglypuff with a forward tilt of probably like 50-60%. It's, it's ridiculous. So I was pretty uh, proud that I was able to pull this one out against a Shulk player. And uh, like I said before, space with forward airs and neutral airs, pounds and uh you know just a couple of jab attacks throw some throws in there none of them are great but none of them are terrible so you know if they have a predictable uh landing game go for the up throw and then punish with a rest 
forward throw or back throw to give him off stage and then you can just ready for the back air edge guard very very straightforward very very simple character jigglypuff you know not easy for most people to get a hang of just because she's you know so easily killable and doesn't have the best kill moves in the game outside of you know the back air is very very good and that dude <laughs> He just doesn't know his Monado arts very well. That shield is going to gimp his jump. I knew that. And uh, punished him for it. Didn't even need to get a kill move on him. He uh, he did the work for me. And here we have a t uh, typical uh, pink ball versus pink ball match. Jigglypuff versus Kirby. Been going at it since Smash Brothers Melee. Er, Smash Brothers on the 64. And like most Kirbys on For Glory, he is abusing the down B. And this is uh, very, very crucial because guess what? Uh, Kirby's down B is very, very punishable, especially if you can bait it out. And I didn't even need to bait it out with this guy. All you need to get him was in the air at any altitude and he would go for that down smash. I don't know why so many Kirbys spam the down smash. A lot of Bowsers spam the, or spam the down B as well. And uh, it just, it doesn't really work out. Um, I see a lot of, you know, DDDs uh, spam up airs because they, they come down with the same ferocity as like a Bowser down special. And uh, Kirby does get some, uh, a bit of super armor with that down special. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be, you know, the worst attack in the world. But it, it, if you keep doing the same move over and over again, and if you have a, a recently decent player, uh, or a decently decent player, then it's just going to be easy. I just had to wait for him to do another down B, caught him out of his uh, little lag coming out of the attack, punish him with the rest. And here we, I don't know what happens with this Captain Falcon, except that his shields go kablammo, and that's it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't count as a kill. I don't know why it isn't. It should, because uh, if you kill him out of shield, and they got nothing to do when they're doing that fall animation. So I didn't even get a single percentage on that guy, and uh, maybe that's why it wasn't registered as a kill, because I had no percentage on him. So that's interesting. I wouldn't. I wonder what uh, what it counts as if I had any percentage on him. But uh, yeah, that's the power of pound, man. Two pounds and you're out. And they're like, I think I accidentally hit sing. I meant to hit uh, pounds. That happens a depressingly amount of times uh, with Jigglypuff. So you know, be careful and know your controller, uh, and you'll 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 be just fine. But sometimes, a lot of times, when I go for pound, I'll accidentally do a sing or a rest. It is just the worst thing in the world since those are the most punishable attacks in the game. So, uh, got easily up on this uh, Captain Falcon. You did get with the down spike right there, but I'm just gonna see if I can get a back air to finish off this guy and show him the punch in the Jiggly Punch. That's right. You want Falcon Punch? I'll give you Jiggly Punch. I don't remember if that rest was, was uh, actually on purpose or not, but, uh, you know, whatever. I do pull it out here eventually. Bam, back air. That's all she wrote. Jiggly Puff. Awesome character, give her a try, very very underrated, always has been, probably always will be. Super glad she's back and she's not nerfed like she was in Brawl. Let me know who you would like to see for the next episode, um, uh, after my next one, which will be Ganondorf as per request, so let me know who you'd like to see me use after that.